The gas lamps flickered dimly against the dusk sky as Mrs. Hudson's frantic knocks echoed through the halls of 221B Baker Street. Startled from his reverie, Sherlock Holmes glanced up from his violin, his piercing gaze fixed on the source of the disturbance. Before he could utter a word, the door flew open, revealing the disheveled figure of Mrs. Hudson, her eyes wide with urgency. Clutched tightly in her trembling hand was a small parchment, its edges worn and creased from anxious handling. Mr. Holmes, she gasped, her breath coming in ragged bursts. A message for you, most peculiar. Holmes arched an eyebrow, his interest piqued by Mrs. Hudson's distress. With a graceful motion, he rose from his seat, crossing the room in long strides to take the proffered parchment. The parchment, devoid of any salutation or signature, held a complex sequence of symbols, a swirling mix of geometric shapes and arcane runes. Holmes's keen eyes swept over the cryptic message, his mind already racing to unravel its secrets. Elementary, Mrs. Hudson, he declared, a hint of a smile playing on his lips. This is a cryptogram, and a rather sophisticated one at that. It seems we have a puzzle on our hands. Watson, who had been quietly observing from his chair by the fireplace, leaned forward with curiosity. What does it say, Holmes? He inquired, his interest piqued by the enigmatic message. Holmes shook his head, his attention fully consumed by the challenge before him. Not what, my dear Watson, he replied, his fingers tracing the intricate lines of the symbols. But rather, who sent it, and what they intend to convey. With a flick of his wrist, Holmes retrieved his magnifying glass from the cluttered desk, bringing the cryptic message into sharp focus. Hours stretched into the night as he meticulously examined every detail, his mind alight with the thrill of the chase. As the moon rose high in the sky, casting its silvery glow through the window panes, Holmes finally looked up, his eyes gleaming with intrigue. This is no ordinary message, Watson, he announced, his voice laced with excitement. It is a call to arms, a challenge laid down by an adversary cunning enough to match wits with the great Sherlock Holmes. And with that, the game was afoot, setting in motion a chain of events that would lead Holmes and Watson down a twisting path of danger, deception, and ultimately, triumph. Days blurred into nights within the walls of 221B Baker Street as Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson delved deeper into the mysteries of the cryptic message. The cozy sitting room became a hive of activity, littered with stacks of dusty tomes, scattered papers, and the occasional discarded teacup. Holmes, his mind ablaze with the challenge before him, seemed to exist in a world of his own creation. His slender fingers danced across the pages of ancient grimoires and scholarly treatises, seeking the elusive key to unlock the secrets of the cryptogram. Watson, ever the faithful companion, hovered at Holmes's side, his pen poised over a leather-bound journal as he dutifully recorded his friend's musings and deductions. The flickering lamplight cast deep shadows across his weathered features, emphasizing the furrow of his brow as he struggled to keep pace with Holmes's lightning-fast intellect. Together, they embarked on a relentless pursuit of knowledge, leaving no stone unturned in their quest for understanding. Holmes consulted volumes on forgotten languages, pored over historical ciphers, and even delved into the esoteric realms of mathematics and logic. But as the days turned into weeks, frustration began to mount. Each attempt to decipher the cryptogram yielded only dead ends, leaving Holmes increasingly agitated and Watson at a loss for words. One evening, amidst the clutter of papers and the faint scent of pipe smoke that lingered in the air, Watson stumbled upon an obscure reference buried within the pages of an ancient tome. It spoke of a long-forgotten order of alchemists, renowned for their mastery of esoteric symbolism and arcane knowledge. A spark ignited in Holmes's eyes as he seized upon the discovery, his mind racing with the possibilities it presented. With newfound determination, he set about unraveling the mysteries of the alchemist's cryptic language, poring over their cryptic texts with a fervor bordering on obsession. Days turned into nights as Holmes and Watson worked tirelessly, their efforts fueled by a sense of purpose that bordered on obsession. They analyzed the symbol frequencies, searching for patterns in their arrangement, and slowly but surely, the pieces began to fall into place. It was a breakthrough born of perseverance and intellect, a triumph of reason over uncertainty. And as the final symbols of the cryptogram began to yield their secrets, Holmes and Watson found themselves on the brink of discovery, poised to unlock the truth hidden within the tangled web of symbols and signs. As the dawn painted the sky in hues of pink and gold, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson found themselves on the precipice of a breakthrough. The cryptogram, once an impenetrable barrier to their progress, now yielded its secrets with each passing moment. The alchemical texts, with their cryptic symbols and arcane wisdom, proved to be the key to unlocking the message's hidden meaning. Through tireless analysis and meticulous scrutiny, Holmes and Watson deciphered the first few characters, unraveling the intricate web of symbols with a precision that bordered on the supernatural. 
The message, slowly taking shape before their eyes, spoke of clandestine meetings held under the cover of darkness, of whispered conversations and shadowy figures lurking in the shadows. It hinted at a conspiracy of vast proportions, a threat to national security that lurked just beyond the borders of ordinary perception. With a newfound urgency, Holmes directed Watson to discreetly investigate the location mentioned in the message, a dilapidated observatory nestled on the outskirts of London. Meanwhile, he turned his attention to uncovering the secrets of the alchemist's cryptic language, seeking out scholars and experts in the field in a desperate bid for knowledge. Days turned into weeks as Holmes and Watson pursued their separate paths, each driven by a singular purpose that transcended the boundaries of reason. Watson's investigations unearthed unsettling details, rumors of clandestine meetings, of shadowy figures moving in the darkness, and of whispered conversations held in foreign tongues. Meanwhile, Holmes's efforts bore fruit as he delved deeper into the mysteries of the alchemical texts, unraveling the secrets of their cryptic language with a tenacity that bordered on obsession. He consulted ancient manuscripts and obscure treatises, seeking out hidden truths and esoteric knowledge that lay buried beneath layers of arcane symbolism. And as the days turned into nights and the nights into days, Holmes and Watson found themselves drawn ever deeper into the heart of the conspiracy. They uncovered coded messages and hidden symbols, piecing together a puzzle that spanned centuries and continents, a web of whispers that stretched from the dark alleys of London to the farthest reaches of the globe. But with each step closer to the truth, the danger grew ever more present. Shadows lurked in every corner, and whispers followed them wherever they went. Yet Holmes and Watson pressed on, their resolve unshakable, their determination unwavering in the face of adversity. For they knew that the fate of the nation hung in the balance, and that only they possessed the wit and the will to uncover the truth hidden within the tangled web of whispers and shadows. And so they marched forward, into the heart of darkness, guided by the light of reason and the promise of justice. As the moon waxed and waned in the night sky, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson found themselves locked in a desperate race against time. The web of whispers and shadows that had ensnared them grew ever tighter, each revelation leading them deeper into the heart of the conspiracy. Watson's investigations had uncovered unsettling details, rumors of clandestine meetings, shadowy figures lurking in the darkness, and whispered conversations held in hushed tones. It was clear that a covert operation was underway, one that threatened to unravel the very fabric of society. Meanwhile, Holmes continued his relentless pursuit of the truth, delving deeper into the mysteries of the alchemical texts in search of answers. He consulted scholars and experts, piecing together fragments of knowledge in a desperate bid to uncover the identity of those behind the conspiracy. But time was running out. With each passing day, the threat grew ever more imminent, and Holmes knew that they could ill afford to delay. The fate of the nation hung in the balance, and only he and Watson possessed the wit and the will to stop it. And so, with a sense of urgency that bordered on desperation, Holmes formulated a plan. Drawing upon the knowledge gleaned from his exhaustive research, he calculated the exact time and location necessary to decipher the complete message hidden within the cryptogram. It was a risky gambit, dependent on the accuracy of his deductions and the timely execution of their plan. But Holmes was undeterred, his resolve unshakable in the face of adversity. For he knew that failure was not an option, and that the lives of countless innocents hung in the balance. And so, under the cloak of darkness, Holmes and Watson set out into the night, their hearts heavy with the weight of the task before them. Their journey took them through the winding streets of London, past shadowy alleyways and deserted thoroughfares, until at last they reached their destination, the dilapidated observatory on the outskirts of the city. As they approached the crumbling structure, a sense of foreboding washed over them. The air was thick with tension, and the silence hung heavy in the night. But Holmes pressed forward, his eyes fixed on the task at hand, his mind racing with possibilities. And then, at last, they reached the appointed spot, a clearing bathed in the soft glow of the moonlight. With a sense of purpose that bordered on reverence, Holmes held up a mirror, reflecting the starlight onto the coded message with a steady hand. As the symbols danced before their eyes, bathed in celestial light, Holmes and Watson watched in awe as the message began to rearrange itself, revealing the final, chilling revelation, the name of a double agent within the British government. With this vital information in hand, Holmes and Watson raced back to Baker Street, their hearts pounding with the thrill of the chase. They knew that they had little time to spare, and that the fate of the nation rested in their hands. And so, with grim determination, they set out to confront the traitor and thwart the conspiracy that threatened to tear their world apart. For they were Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, and no challenge was too great for them to overcome. As dawn broke over the rooftops of London, casting a golden glow upon the city below, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson stood before the door of a nondescript safe house on the outskirts of the city. Inside lurked the traitor, 
the puppet master behind the web of conspiracy that had threatened to engulf them all. With a sense of purpose that bordered on the divine, Holmes raised his hand, signaling to Watson that the moment of reckoning had arrived. Together, they burst through the door, their eyes scanning the dimly lit room for any sign of their quarry. And there, seated at a desk in the corner of the room, was the double agent, a man whose face was a mask of fear and desperation. His hands shook as he reached for a pistol hidden beneath a stack of papers, but Holmes was faster. With a swift motion, he disarmed the traitor, his eyes blazing with righteous fury. You have nowhere left to run, my dear sir, Holmes declared, his voice cold and commanding. The game is up, and the truth stands revealed for all to see. The traitor's eyes darted from Holmes to Watson, his breath coming in ragged gasps as he struggled to comprehend the magnitude of his betrayal. But there was no escape, no reprieve from the consequences of his actions. And so, with a heavy heart and a sense of duty that transcended the bounds of mortal understanding, Holmes handed the traitor over to the authorities, ensuring that justice would be served and that the innocent would be protected from harm. As they made their way back to Baker Street, the streets of London seemed to breathe a sigh of relief, the shadows of fear and uncertainty lifting like a veil from the city's weary soul. News of their success spread like wildfire, igniting a spark of hope in the hearts of all who heard it. And as Holmes settled back into his armchair, a satisfied smile playing upon his lips, he knew that their work was far from over. For though this case had reached its conclusion, the world was still a dangerous place, filled with mysteries yet to be unraveled and evils yet to be vanquished. But with Watson at his side, and the promise of a new adventure on the horizon, Holmes felt a sense of peace settle over him like a warm embrace. For they were Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, the defenders of truth and justice in a world gone mad. And though the challenges ahead would be many and the dangers great, they faced the future with courage and determination, secure in the knowledge that no matter what trials lay ahead, they would face them together, as friends, as allies, and as the greatest detective duo the world had ever known.